What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Quest 2 multiplayer games you need to try. But before the video gets started, be sure to click that subscribe button and if you enjoy the video, share it as well as click that like button. Also, if you have any suggestions or realize that there are some great multiplayer games that I missed out on, feel free to comment them down below and let's get right into it. The first multiplayer game we're going to be talking about is PokerStars VR. The reason why I wanted to talk about this game first was because if you're new to VR, it's probably the easiest multiplayer game to get into. In this game, you gamble with in-game currency, and you can play things such as slots, roulette, blackjack, and obviously, poker. They also have tournaments, but I'm not sure on how they work because I actually never entered in a tournament myself. I normally play poker, and the poker that they have in this game is Texas Hold'em. Uh, it's also a great way to learn how to gamble. Anyone can play, but uh, they do say you should be 18 or older to play the game. It's probably one of my favorite multiplayer games, and the best part about it is it's free. The next game is Echo. Now if you're new to VR and prone to motion sickness, then this game probably isn't the game for you, but it's worth a try. The best way to explain this game is it's zero gravity ultimate frisbee soccer. The reason why I say soccer is because there are two goals, one on each side. The game has nothing to do with using your feet, so pretty much in this game there are two teams of four and you fight for the frisbee by punching each other, blocking punches, and stealing the frisbee. It's really fun and enjoyable game to get three other friends on and have a great time floating around in space as well as getting a little bit comp competitive. This game is also free, so why not give it a shot? Since we're on the topic of sports, the next game I'd like to talk about is Knock. If you like games such as Rocket League, well, this is pretty much it, except it's in VR. You can choose between 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3. You can even take your friends into custom rooms and play against them instead of uh, playing against random people. There's also a ranking system in this game as well as a leveling system which makes it that much more fun because you have something to shoot for and you have something to gain. Now the reason why I say this game is like Rocket League is because you have two goals, one on each side and your objective is to score the ball. But instead of having boost, you have a bow and arrow to shoot the ball and you have to collect the arrows as well. You can also just run up to the ball and push it yourself. Now my opinion on this game is it looked kind of stupid at first from the trailer, but when I played it it was low of fun but you get very sweaty also beware this game just came out like last month or so which means there's still a good amount of bugs in the game and the devs seem to be doing a great job keeping the game up to date and patching these bugs because uh we had this issue where people would leave the game and then uh we wouldn't get the win and it wouldn't count towards our rank or uh towards our level or anything and they actually patch this now that when you leave the game you still get the win i think they should add a penalty for leaving the game Something that's put in place that prevents people from leaving the game in the first place. If you're interested in buying Knock, unfortunately it is not free like Echo and Poker Stars. Instead, it's going to cost around $10 USD. Now moving on to the last sport VR multiplayer game that I love to play, Golf Plus. Even if you never play golf in your life, this game still is really fun to compete against your friends in. You can shoot 18, back 9, front 9, or even play at Top Golf Swing Suite. Now you might be thinking, screw this game, I suck at golf. Well the best part about that is, you can just adjust the settings to your liking to make it easier, less realistic, or if you're a real golfer, you can make it more realistic. I play the standard settings they give you, and I suck at golf in real life, but I'm decently good at this game with the standard settings. I don't want to say it's a good way to teach you to get into golf in real life because that is most likely not the case at all. Other than that, this game is really fun. Uh, it used to cost $20. They actually upped the price, I just realized, to $30. So that's the only unfortunate thing about this game is it's a little bit more on the expensive side for VR. But it's still, nonetheless, really fun to play with your friends. Moving on to the next game, and if you're subscribed to my channel or have looked at any of my other videos, you probably know that this is my favorite VR game of all time. I also have a full in-depth review on this game that has over 5,000 views, so I thank everyone that has seen that video and that has liked it and enjoyed it. If you're interested in the full review, it's going to be linked in the top right corner. The game that I'm talking about is Population 1. A lot of people can say that this is the VR Fortnite, and I can understand why, but I don't think that gameplay-wise it acts like Fortnite at all. Though I can see the similarities, obviously. This is a VR Battle Royale that puts you up against 15 enemies for a total of 18 players per game. Although it may not seem like a lot, it feels like a lot of people. The one big problem I have seen with this game is getting new people to come and play it. This game is like any other shooter. People get really good at it and it makes it less fun for the noobs. My suggestion would be to play with somebody that is already experienced, and if not, just keep trying as I believe they have some sort of ranking system that puts you against players similar to your record. Don't quote me on this, it's just a guess because when I played with my friend who was new, I got matched up against all new people, and I was cooking up the lobby, obviously, because I've had this game since it released. If you'd like to see some gameplay on this game, feel free to check out my other Population 1 videos. The playlist is linked at the top right uh, corner of the video or in the description. 
Since we're on the topic of shooters, the next game I'd like to talk about is Contractors VR. Not going to talk too much about this game, as I also have a full in-depth review, which will also be linked at the top right, as well as in the description. But the best way to describe this game is Call of Duty VR. The best part about it is you can even play in Call of Duty maps with the newest custom map update. It's a very fu fun game, only issue I have with it, like I said in my uh, full in depth review, is the fact that they don't have a progression system. Aside from that, it's a fantastic game. Quick question, have you ever wanted to decline trees like a monkey, or in this case like a gorilla? Well now you can! <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm advertising this game as if I'm selling it for $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Anyways, the next game is Gorilla Tag. This game is probably the best way to sweat your ass off running around as a gorilla. Using your arms to run, climb, and do just about everything. The concept of this game is obviously tag, if you haven't guessed that already. You can play in a private lobby with your friends or in a public lobby with randoms. Just a fair warning though, if you do go in a public lobby, chances are you're going to run across 12 year olds that are extremely good at the game. Even though this happens, it is still fun to play, and they also can teach you their ways. This game is an app lab game, so if you will have to download it off the internet, but it's completely free. And by the internet, I mean the Oculus browser. Now after you play Gorilla Tag and you're all tired and sweaty, you should unwind a bit with this next game, which is real VR fishing. Even if you don't fish in real life, this game is still loads of fun to play. Would I say it's real? A little bit. It's fun to cast out your line, and they did a good job trying to make it feel like you're actually reeling in a fish. The only thing is, you know where the fish are, and you catch one every time you cast. This to me isn't a problem because it wouldn't be fun if you didn't catch anything, but obviously this normally doesn't happen in real life, or at least for me it doesn't. I do think there's a setting though where you could turn off to where you see the fish. It's fun regardless. You can fish in fresh water as well as salt water, but you need to unlock the salt water after I believe level 16. That's another thing that makes this game fun. As you progress, you unlock more things and you also have a really cool fish tank. Here's a picture of mine. Pretty cool, huh? Last but not least, Pavlov Shack. I've heard some people say that this is the VR equivalent to CSGO or even Gary's Mod. From playing Dust 2 to Trouble in Terrorist Town, this game really has many possibilities. I actually saw a video clip of peeing- of I actually saw a video clip of people playing Prop Hunt on it the other day, but don't quote me on this as it might only be a PC Pavlov thing. There are many guns from the M4 to the AK to the OP. If you aren't interested in running and gunning like contractors and played CSGO on the PC, then you'll love this game. Even if you weren't a big Counter-Strike fan, this game is still loads of fun to play, and once again, it is free, so why not give it a shot? However, this game is also an App Lab game, so you will need to download it from the App Lab, aka the Oculus Browser. Before we end the video, here's some honorable mentions. VR Chat as well as Rec Room, which are covered in my top 5 free VR games linked in the top right corner or in the description. I would also like to put Zenith in here. I only played it for like an hour or two, and then the new Population 1 map came out. So I haven't came around to it, but from what I have played, it was very fun and a lot of people seem to like it. Although I hear it is a very clean MMO and it is not that in depth like other MMOs, nonetheless I heard it is still fun. You can also play Beat Saber and multiplayer now. I say now as if it hasn't been out for a while, and I, but I haven't tried it. If you're interested in free games again, be sure to check out my top 5 free Oculus Quest 2 games or MetaQuest, whatever the heck they want to call themselves now. If I miss any awesome VR games that are multiplayer, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking all the way to the end. If you enjoyed, slap that like button, and if you want to see more videos like this one in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button, as well as hit the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. If you want to try and convince your friend to play some of these games with you as well, send them this video and they get a better understanding of what the games are about. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.